everyone. Uh, I've recently been helping some people do some 20 gallon vertical conversions for crested and gargoyle geckos. And I made these tanks before I had had the idea to start a YouTube channel, um, uh, like documenting them. And so I don't have any video of the build process. However, I do have a detailed slideshow of when I made this one on the left right here, which is the second one I did. Um, and since I don't know when I'll be doing another one of these 20 gallon vertical conversions with this DIY method, I thought I would show you what I've done um, and then make, I've got uh, the pictures from the other one. So I'll give you a slideshow with captions and hopefully that will help some of you who are looking to do some conversions of your own. If you'll notice, I do keep a padlock on these. This is to keep my kids from opening them because they are right at um, tempting kid level and just in case they forget that they're not supposed to open these. Um, I've just made sure that the temptation cannot be gotten. So these are a three pack of little, these little luggage pack locks, padlocks that you can get from Amazon. Um, and then this is an acrylic hasp that I got from Josh's Frogs. And this is, this part is siliconed on. I've also, um, in later times, I've also used super glue to attach this part. This part's just super glued to the tank frame itself. So that's fairly easy to do. This is a window screen. Um, from Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you like to shop for those. And what I did was I measured it and cut the sizes um, and then I spray painted it with a glossy black so that it would match and blend into the tank frame. And then you need a uh, window screen splining and a splining tool. And then I get fiberglass window screen so that there's no metal in it and so that it doesn't um, rust at all with any of the humidity. Now, if you were making this for dart frogs, you would want to use no CM mesh here instead and probably make it about half as much ventilation because this is for a crested gecko and so I'm always aiming for uh, 60 to 70% humidity in here instead of the 70 to 90% that you would want for dart frogs. These are Aquion uh, spare tank handles. Used to order them from Drs. Foster and Smith um, by, a, by like the 10 or 12 at a time, but since they're closing, um, the only other option I found so far is to order the deep blue acrylic handles from um, Amazon. So they're a little bit more expensive that way, but there's a, a clear acrylic handle made by Deep Blue that ha also comes with a strong self-adhesive background like the Aquion handles do, and this has been working very well. Um, I can put the measurements for this. If you wanna do this exact conversion, I'll put the measurements in the video description so that you can get your glass cut. So I have a local glass shop that cuts my glass for me, and they automatically sand the edges um, if your glass shop doesn't do that automatically, you need to double check um, that they do or be prepared to sand them yourselves because you don't want to get cut. So this piece opens. This is um, Aquion Tank Hinge. Again, I ordered this from Dr. Foster's and Smith. I'll be looking for replacement um, suppliers for you all. Uh, or you can um, use uh, just regular silicone and make a living hinge. This, is called, this type of hinge is called a living hinge yourself by laying the pieces next to each other and running a bead of silicone between them, um, like on wax paper or freezer paper so the silicone doesn't stick to whatever's underneath, and making a hinge like that. I haven't personally tried that. Uh, I've always used this Aquion hinge, uh, but that's another way that you could do that. And I'll look into some alternative sourcing for this because I'm sure Aquion is still selling their um, replacement lid parts through someone and I'll put a link in there's a guy on Facebook that makes these um, and I can say what his name is and you can find him um, if you want to look around some of the gecko or dart frog groups and he makes these for six dollars a piece and he has made me custom sizes and doesn't care if you order one at a time the shipping's included this glass piece is um, siliconed in to the tank frame itself but there's one additional step that's hard to explain unless i'm actually showing it to you and that is because this is a 20 gallon high tank right on its side because this is be the top of the aquarium um, the the black frame was not meant to be watertight so what you want to do when you're doing this conversion is you want to run a bead of silicone in between let me see if i can get to where you can actually see this the water dish you can see the top of it right here so i ran a bead of silicone in between the um tank frame apologies for not focusing in the tank frame and the glass on the inside up to about two inches above where i knew i was going to put the substrate let's see if i can get any better on this side oh not really i did a really good job of making that disappear um because that way you are if you have any standing water ever which with the geckos i don't have standing water in the tank but if you've over it or whatever you don't want it to leak um 
So all the way around the back of the tank frame on this side, on the bottom, and on this side. And then you lay the glass in, or silicone this piece of glass in all the way up on the sides. This um, screen, likewise, is siliconed in on the top. And there's Bo wanting to be a part of yet another video because apparently he needs the attention. The last piece is this piece right here. This is car door guard, like you could get to apply to the edge of your car door to keep it from marking another car if you were um, to accidentally open your car door into that car. And it's, uh, it's self-adhesive. Once you push it down, it just sort of sticks. So I got some of that off of Amazon too. Um, you could also use, I've, on another tank where this was a little bit too thick, uh, I used a piece of airline. You can just slit the airline all the way down and then glue it in place. And that works as well, something you might have more of on hand if you're only going to do one of these and don't want a whole um, 30 feet or whatever, 25 feet of car door guard on hand. Up to you. Let's move on to the slideshow and you can see how I built this tank from the ground up.